everybody, welcome to this week's video. We have an exciting adventure up island to show you and a few day-to-day -day chores. And I'm gonna have to leave you on a cliffhanger with this one, so get ready, it's an exciting one. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll see you soon. It's laundry day! <laughs> like almost entirely every single piece of clothing I own in the $15 and the $15 machine's got a name and it's called bubbles <laughs> okay pen yeah Going down. Where? Oh! Yes. $7 Man. left. This is so neat. Two. Great. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and then select we select your temperature. The fast cold, I think. Yes. Start. Okay, then you get the most soap out of, out of your container. This is so fun. So I should see the oh, oh here it comes. There you go. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, and rinsing the cup. Would you mind? And then we recycle those as well. Whee, that's so cool. Washing, washing is done, propane is done, video is uploading. <sighs> now I gotta go to the post office and drop off some letters for some Patreons and some people who have purchased, purchased stickers. And then my day of errands will be done and I can just chill. Oh. This is what I like. Commitment to the bit. You want to take a picture of you in it? That would be handy, yeah. Uh, yay! Woo! It's a uh, close oh, to ukulele. The trees, they're so pretty. The moss. Who am I to disagree? Travel the world. Wow, you can even see the line where the clouds are like level of the clouds. like if it wasn't like raining and cloudy. I think it's still a lake. This is the road to Tofino folks. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's in progress. Wow.
Beautiful. You pop it. Yeah, and it's kind of like, there you go. You got this like aloe like texture inside of it, and it's all greasy. You just climbed out of the ocean. Yeah, Your hair I looks beautiful. I put some uh, you know, clothing, <laughs> but I'm a mermaid. It's, it's, a bit cool. it's called two bears. <laughs> because I'm not in the ocean swimming with these guys. Look at all, is that people paddle boarding out there? Yes. Yeah. So you can just keep swimming in place. It's like, a, it's like that. Oh yeah, he's just like continually going over the waves. Oh. Catch it, catch it, pedal, 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 pedal. Oh, 
consumers before and it feels good because I'm like oh I want to see what you're making but then as a producer it's like completely different because you have to be like this in our society we're not used to like altruistic people just supporting you because they want to yeah right Got lovely. Two light blue. Incredible. And a dark blue. An amazing oh, dark blue. So good. Lots of different types of browns amazing. and light browns and some greens, light greens and dark greens. Super cool. <gasps> so happy. Hey Tracker, get the get the stick! Get the stick! It's only a giant log, get the stick! Nom 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 nom. <laughs> is it tasty? Is it tasty log? Yeah, you get that log, yeah! Oh, so well behaved. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> it's a man! Yeah. That's some surfboards! Not finished closing yet. No, it doesn't have to be finished. You're still working on it. Nice, though. This birch ply is what I'm doing my cupboards in, my nice. cupboard doors. Comes out Pretty. too. And I got the fireweed one yesterday. Oh, nice. And I was like, oh, that's delicious. So we came to take a look. Do um, you want to try some tea? I would love to. Wow, look at that. Oh, I want to try that something. one. Creamy. It's like a coffee creamer. <gasps> Very cool. <laughs> Myself, I'm interested in the gin and the vodka. Sure. I could taste those too. That's yep. great. <laughs> what is this? Oh, that is salal. Oh, oh that's that's nice. one of the botanicals in our I was gin. wondering cool. what made it so orange. Yeah, uh, salal and then Nutka Rose petals. That's cool. Oh, yeah. like, make it a pinky go. kind of. Very cool. Um, did you, have you tried them before or did you want to? I would love to. Okay, okay. I'm interested in the gin, the fireweed again. It's not as like juniper-y. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We use a uh, wild juniper so it's Mm -hmm. Very time consuming to pick. Oh. <laughs> so we're gonna yeah. use a lot of it. Yeah. Yep. But the fact that you're using mm -hmm. wild forage yeah, yeah. <laughs> ingredients. Pretty yeah, cool. everything, all the botanicals are like from this like side of the pass. Yeah. It is so freaking delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did uh so do you know fireweed, the plant? Yeah. Yeah. So we just made like a syrup with all the mm. the flowers. Where are the winter? This one here is the juniper, right? Oh, yeah, that's the juniper. Yeah, nice. This is salal. Oh, I can't wait to salal. 
all this year. And this one here is the Nook no, Rose Middles. Nook no, Rose, yeah. I'll put a whole bunch of that. No, I was like, owner originally fermented the yeast in, oh. like the wild yeast, he like uh -huh. it and like kept it in there. Um, and then the still, and then there's another one of the yeast things, and then the mash tun is in the very back. Oh, wow. That's what you like, you just cook the grain in it. Yeah. That's like six people wide. Wow. Let's see how high up it goes. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. There's another big one.
Mm. Not just for it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to wait till the sun just bursts below this cloud. Although my camera battery may not last that long. Yeah, it's dropping pretty quickly now. It's gonna look so amazing if it goes behind those last layer of clouds down there. I mean, it has to go behind them. Hello. We're in the middle of deep, immense amounts of rain. Now is like a brief fine spell. And so I wanted to turn the engine on for the truck. And it's been a couple of days. No, it's been a couple of weeks since this has been turned on. Essentially when it was dug out of those holes was the last time I turned over the engine. And I've been like telling myself that I really should keep turning it on regularly but the battery that was in here has kind of died so I've been charging that previously I was taking the battery out of this one putting it in there and then starting and it was fine so hopefully it will turn on and there won't be any issues but fingers crossed I'm a bit nervous it's been a while I'm a bit a bit naughty Hydraulics in that suite. Okay. It looks smaller, but it's equally as heavy. Okay, let's give it a go. Maybe this time it will work. for its first adventure but I only have one battery between this vehicle and this vehicle which is yes punky parked on a little precarious angle because I had to try and keep them as close as possible so I don't have to walk the battery very far yeah kitty yeah just put it in and connected it so my mechanic has been we checked the oil we checked all of the fluids we, there's a, something up with the steering column. The, the key will turn into ignition, but it won't turn into park and turn, take the key out. So we've, something's up with that. And then we realized that the starter relay doesn't work. I have to climb underneath the van, connect the starter relay, you know, hot wire the van essentially, and it'll go.
doing that. That's something I've only just learned how to do. Jump start hot wire the van. I'm gonna have to do it a few more times I think over this weekend. So I'm gonna get a lot better at it, but it runs. It's turning on, turn on. Mystery still perched there. So let's do a thousand point turn to get this van out. Look what's down there. There's my step van. So now I have to take the battery from there, put it in there, and put that van up there. Hi everybody, thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. It was so much fun to make. And I'm gonna have to leave you on a little bit of a cliffhanger with this stuff. And you're gonna see what happens with this first adventure next week.